Well, it sounds like a good one, too. Yeah. Well, it's, and it's also, in a way, maybe comforting for people in Austin to know that it's not just happening here. Yeah. I think one of the most incredible aspects of sh screening the film is that people in cities across the United States respond to it really strongly as, as their own story. You know, they see themselves in it, um, especially creative artists. So that's been really refreshing for us. Yeah, we've showed it, we've showed it in New York, Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, L.A., Marfa. No, we just at the Hot Springs Film Festival last night, and there was a huge response to it. So it's, yeah, it's very, it's, it's very comforting to know that, actually. Yeah, it's an issue that people are dealing with across the country. Well, and talk about the title of the film. How did you guys come up with that? Yeah, ecotone is actually a term. It, it means when overlapping ecologies, when ecologies overlap, it's usually in the uh, flora world, mm -hmm. um, but it's taken as metaphor too. It's basically when two species overlap and then there's that middle ground. One has, they either have to s compromise and live together or one takes over and destroys the other. Um, so it literally means attention in ecologies. Um, and we like the idea of Austin being that. And actually, someone actually says that in the city, in the city hall. We have all this city hall footage where citizens are coming and talking about their city. And someone actually, this guy named Ron Deutsch, he actually says, this is like Echotone. This is like an Echotone right, right now. And we changed the name cause it to ECHO because the city is also like an echo chamber where everyone's sort of talking about the same thing in their own way. Well, and you guys say you hope people kind of get fired up after watching this movie and become more passionate. But do you go on to explain what people should do? Um, we or show what's at stake. If we, we, we came to the crossroads in editing where we could have had these title cards at the end that says, you can, you can do this and you can do this and you should do this and here's what's going to happen. There's no way, we're just not that kind of film. Mm -hmm. There's so many films that are like that right now. There's a whole gold rush of films like that and a lot of them are good for what they are. Um, it's, the film is just too lyrical to do that. It, it's, not, it's not about... Um, it's not about telling people what to think at the end. And it's better. People don't feel cheated that way. People feel like their intelligence is taken into account by the filmmakers. But I'm excited about the Ritz the RIT screening because it's, it's happening downtown in the midst of all the development and all the clubs and that. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, on Saturday at 1 p.m., people are going to sit and watch this film downtown, and then they're going to see all these great panelists from Austin, from around the Austin scene, talk about the issues, and then step out into the very world they just watched mm -hmm. on screen. So it's a pretty direct experience that way. And you have more than one screening, though, don't you? Yeah, the yeah. second one is Tuesday night at 10 p.m. at the Bob Bullock Theater. That'll be nice. All right, yeah. good deal. Well, thank you guys for coming in. Yeah, I really you. appreciate yeah. it.